So this is uh, about halfway through where I need to be just to get the first little area. But pulling out the bricks is fairly easy. You just want to get underneath, get underneath them. I usually take like a screwdriver and then you just start pulling them out in a line so you can see it comes out pretty easy. So this is my wall of bricks and when we're done here we will put down the dirt and the sand and then start pounding them down. Okay, so the next step is we have all the bricks removed that we want to do right now and we are going to put some paver gravel, um, paver base is what it's called, down. Um, you can see I've kind of dug out uh, a few inches and I actually took a shovel to, to get it to go a little bit lower. You just want your base to be gravel and then you're going to put your sand on top of that. Uh, it's for drainage and also for shifting so that you have something kind of um, firm for the, for the bricks to sit on and not just sand, the way that they actually did this the first time, which is why it's kind of collapsing, they just use sand. So, um, so yeah, so that's the step we're at right now is I'm about to put some of that paver base down and uh, then I'm going to do the other side. So I'm going to do this in kind of shifts. So stay tuned for the next okay. part. Okay, so I have laid the paver base and pulled the sand back over tried to even it out a little bit and now I'm actually going to use this what's called a tamp and I'm going to pound it down uh, basically you're just going to drop it it's pretty heavy and you're going to pound down the sand and this is going to compress it so that when you put the bricks on um, they don't shift and sink so that is our next right. step. So I have tamped, but just in case you guys want to see what that looks like, uh, it's kind of heavy. It's hard to lift with one hand, but you're basically just dropping it and you can kind of hear it give a good thug <laughs> and just keep doing that. And this is all pounded down. So now we're going to start relaying the brick. This is him putting the bricks down and then using the board to level it. He's also using a level, but you can see he kind of taps them all into place as they align together. And then puts the level on to make sure that they're level. And if they're not, then you just adjust each one as needed. So this is our final uh, configuration and you might notice that the very last row up by where it meets the curb um, is actually sloped up and we did that on purpose just so that you're not taking such a large step up but we're pretty much done we just have to put in we have to fill in the sand into the, the holes but we're thinking that we might end up using the polymeric sand that we have bought. Um, probably we'll use the regular sand to fill most of it up and then leave about an inch and the polymeric is uh, it's like almost like a concrete so it'll prevent weeds and and other things from like anthills and things from from kind of ruining that dirt that is in between the bricks or the sand. So this is it and we're pretty happy with how it turned out. If you, if you see the previous pictures, you'll see how it used to slope, but now it's, it's pretty even, so pretty cool. So here we're dumping out sand, um, and then it's pretty easy. You'll take the broom and just start sweeping the sand into the cracks. And uh, right. So we have filled in all the sand, wetted it down some, put more sand down. You can see how it looks. We're going to take some mortar, that's going to be our next adventure, and actually fix some of the, the way they did it was weird, but some of the mortar looks like it's broken, and so we're going to actually fix some of that. Uh, so that'll be our next video tutorial, um, but that is actually the area that we want to focus on and remortar that whole area. But you can see how nice and even the rest of it looks.